thought I'd make a quick video of this 486. It features the uh, backpack accessory, which is a docking station that has two IDE ports, as well as an additional floppy connector. It has this Creative Seat Lab CD-ROM, as well as the Sound Blaster 16, SCSI, and Ethernet. There's also additional expansion at the back. Nothing too special though. It's just booting up now. As you can see, it's running damn small Linux. The trackball still works too. The system is equipped with 28 megabytes of memory. CPU is a little bit slow on the slow side at 40 megahertz, but it seems to still run uh, Linux just fine. Boots up fairly quick for being such an old machine. Oh, the trackball's dirty. It's not too many videos of Linux running on such old and slow machines, so I figured, why not? It's a uh, damn small Linux and it's uh, running kernel 2.431 from 2005. Do you have an ethernet cable? You can see here, it is a uh, 486. I think it's 40 megahertz and it's uh, approximately 19.86 BOGO MIPS. It's not particularly quick. Seems the sound card's detected, but I don't have a uh, speaker to plug into it. As you can see here, it's uh, detecting it. It seems to detect the CD-ROM as well, but I can't really actually use the sound card without the speakers. The ethernet is not detecting because it uh, is configured for a different IRQ. I'm gonna try to figure that out next. All right, I swapped out the dock with a different one, and uh, this one seems to work with the ethernet. This one does not have the full ISA expansions or the additional two IDE connections, but uh, it seems to be working. Unfortunately, uh, Firefox does not seem to be able to run on this machine. It just maxes out the CPU and then eventually times out and crashes. One thing uh, to note is uh, how good this screen is for a computer that's basically 30 years old now. Uh, it doesn't really have any ghosting like most old LCDs do. And uh, it's incredibly bright. The backlight works as good as the day it was new. IRC seems to work uh, just fine on this. Uh, can't really use the uh, normal web browser though. But uh, it's fine for anything that's text. And it actually seems to run uh, damn small Linux better than it runs Windows 98 or 95. As you can see, Google search is still very usable. Uh, you can see there's our company at the top of the search results and links. Now here's something that you don't see every day. Uh, this is the shutdown screen for damn small Linux. Oh wow, it actually turned itself off. That was really unexpected. I didn't realize that APM could do that. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.